Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to show you a little trick uh, how to make not a taggable detail line. I've done a video on that before, how to make a taggable detail line. You can look that up. It's, uh, it's a similar process. Uh, but if you look at these these lines here, right, they're not actually lines. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. So, so it's a repeating detail, basically, and how to make that work. All right. So you can make versions of it different colors and, and uh, for different types of membranes and so on. Right. So uh, there's benefits to that. Uh, I don't like it when you have a thick line. Uh, the the each of the little breakpoints is rounded, and I kind of like it to be square. Uh, so this this works for me. All right. So how do we do it? We go to File, New, Family. Uh, we'll do the little color detail first. Okay. So metric uh, detail. Where is that? There we go. Metric detail item. Open. Now where do I want to place it along the the center or the edge? I think I'm going to do it on the edge. So you can flip it either side of a face. You know. So reference plane uh, here and here, left and right. I'll put it above. Okay, so I'm gonna put my shape above the the uh, or, uh, the origin line. So dimension to the center equals dimension shape select new parameter. Call it uh, width. Okay, and I'm gonna leave it as a type parameter. And we call this dimension here. It's we call it uh, thickness. Okay. So I just put my thickness to five, and my width to you know let's say thirty. And let's zoom in on that. Okay. So create a filled region. Uh, select a solid fill, solid fill black, let's say. Edit type and duplicate. We'll do the, let's pull that on screen. We'll do the red color, okay? So solid red. Okay. Change the color to red, okay? Okay. Uh, rectangle, corner to opposing corner. Lock, lock, lockity lock. All right. Okay, so the origin point is there. It's at the bottom, in the center. Okay, that's where we're going to place it. Okay, all right. So, file, new family. I'm going to create a new metric detail uh, line based. Okay, open. So go back to this guy. You should save it. I'm not going to bother, but you should save it for use for some other. Thing okay, all right. I'm gonna load into to, to the project and close. Uh, select the family seven. This one I just opened. No, all right, I shall just stick that there somewhere. Okay, all right. So, uh, select that guy, edit type. So, thickness will assign that will uh, associate that parameter. Uh, click new parameter and call it thickness. We're creating a parameter in this family. Uh, to associate the nested family. Okay, okay. And it'll take on the the the, the value that's already in it, okay? Width 30, we'll, we'll assign that. Uh, new, call it, I don't know, color width. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna create a new parameter. So up here, new parameter. I want, no, I'll show you why I'm going to do it first. Okay, so I'm going to create reference planes here, start, and there at the end. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the center of that to, the, to that reference plane. Okay, so I want the distance from the start to this reference plane to be half of the width of that. Okay, and same over here. Okay, so I'm going to create a new parameter. Uh, new parameter. Call it uh, what? Color with CW or reference color with reference, okay. And it's equal to half the color width, okay. So color width by two. That's what it does. Okay. So dimension from here to here, from here to here. Escape, escape. Select those two guys and assign that parameter. Uh, TWR. Okay. Okay. Now align and lock. Get lock selected. Uh, align to this guy here, center. 
and align to the bottom. Okay, see what it's done, right? So it's it's uh, the the start point will be the color, and so it's uh, this reference plane is at half uh, the the width of it, and same with the other end. Okay, so it'll start and finish on the color. Okay, so select that guy, and we'll create an array here, and I'm going to use make sure last is selected, not second. Okay, last. You can click on the uh, reference plane, I guess, and bring it to the next reference plane, and escape. I just want to make sure that fella is, is locked to the reference planes. Okay, so line and lock to this reference plane, and a line and lock to this one. Okay, so now we have an array. We can change that value to, I don't know, four, let's say, and we'll have four dashes along it. Now, we can make this as complicated as you like. I'm just going to make this family so that it, it repeats roughly the same color gap, color gap, roughly the same dimension. Okay. Uh, so how do we do that? Okay. We're going to need a parameter to control the number on the array. Okay. So, right. New parameters. So what are we going to do? We're going to, we call it, uh, it needs to be an integer first of all. Okay. Cause we, the number of needs to be an exact number. It can't be 7.2. It has, we can't have 7.2 of those color, uh, shapes okay so it has to be an integer so a new parameter change the type from length to integer uh we'll call it call it what you want we we'll call it array i guess okay so huh, what we want we want the the length wait i need to change that that, that array parameter that should be an instance okay because the length is instance so we want the length uh, divided by the color width, right? Uh, divided by two. So that would give us the right amount. So the color width and the space. And because the way we set it up so that they're off, the the, the, the way we set it up with the start and end, it'll 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 work out. Okay, so uh, it'll give you a, a, an error here, by the way, if you, if you make the, the line too short, and I'll show you how to fix that in, in a minute. Okay, so what do we have? So array is equal to length. Wait, I'll, I'll do that in brackets. Length divided by uh, color width divided by two. Okay, so twenty. So I okayed that. I go here, select one of these guys, and find the array. I select the line above there, and in label you select it and apply the that parameter that we just created. Okay. So you can see that looks exactly right, okay? If that's what you want, an even space. We can change the the, the, the calculation if you want it to be, uh, you know, color and that one and space two, color one, and whatever. You can, you can calculate that way if you want to. Now, here's the problem. If you make this too short, it's going to break. So if I make this, let's say, 50, I'm going to get this error. It doesn't work because... They're on top of each other and it doesn't work. Okay, trying to create, uh, trying to create one actually, and it can't because it's, you have to have a minimum of two in an array. Okay, so I'll go back into here to my family types, and what I wanted to do is if it's less than, if the result that we get here is 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 less than two, then do two. Okay, so whatever the result is, that's fine as long as it's not one basically, and if it is, make it two. So what do we do? Okay, we need an if condition. I'm just gonna copy that. So if that, in brackets, uh, is less than two, comma, two, comma, otherwise, uh, that, if, same calculation, close brackets, enter, okay? okay so now if we change the length to what do we say 60 was it it works okay so two colors are on top of each other and that's fine okay uh one thing i might change actually is the there's a i didn't pay attention to that there's a black line around the color i might just edit that select and edit that uh, that color uh the the region uh, edit the boundary select the lines and make them invisible line okay okay load it back in to the family okay save yes no save no 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 load into project and close 
Okay. You should save it though. Okay. So you can't tell there's one on top of the other, right? Because there's no lines. So that's a little fix for now. All right. So if we if we uh, just change the value of that to 500, let's say. If we load that into the project and close, uh, this guy I'm working on here, I'm not going to save it. Obviously, you should. So it's family seven. I'll show you what it looks like uh, up in here. Annotate tab, component, family seven. There it is. We can control the, the width uh, of the the color or the, the, the length of it or whatever. And of course, it's taggable, okay? so. Tag by category or tag by multi category tag, let's say. Fine. Free end. Okay, I haven't got any information in it, but you get the point. As usual, guys, I hope that was useful. If it was, and I know it was, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it when, when people give it a, a like or send me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. All right. Have a good day. Thanks.